G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I have another quick uh, article review for you. It's another Only Cans promotion special which has been pushed on news.com.au. So there are many of these articles that get pushed out weekly. I can't cover them all, uh, but I do the best I can just to cover this nonsense. nonsense. So this article is called Married Boss, Adult Stars Reveal, The Strangest Subscribers. From work colleagues to family members, some followers have definitely raised eyebrows for these racy content creators. Now, before I get started into the article, um, there's clearly an agenda uh, by the media to normalize these uh, adult content careers. Now, I actually really have no issue with people doing whatever they want to do to earn money behind closed doors. I think my opinion on it and my issue with it is when it's promoted to the mainstream and it's messaged out in a way that it's a normal vocation like going to work down at the supermarket you know that's sort of what they're trying to do here they're really trying to normalize and desensitize the population to this type of work i've got no issue with people in the industry i you got to do what you got to do good for you all right but don't wave it around and try and promote it normalize it and also try and shame guys for not you know wanting to partner up with women who are in this line of work so that's where my issue is it's not with the individual women themselves. It's more around uh, the media. Four adult content creators have detailed the strangest people who have followed them on a popular X-rated subscription site. So guys, the language is popular. As they build their following and make millions selling the racy content of themselves, there have been a few subscribers who have raised eyebrows along the way. For Sydney-based model and corn star, Katia Cortez, find, and, and here we go, got a link here with a promotion. Now you can't see my mouse going around, but as you can see, it's hyperlinked. That's what I have issue with. Finding out a married manager at her accounting firm followed her came as a massive surprise. I found out through another former colleague, she tells news.com.au, he had apparently told a few colleagues that he had subscribed to my account. Idiot. Like, why would you do that even if you are doing it? But blokes, like this, this whole thing only exists because you're willing to part with your hard-earned money. And I'm going to say the majority of men on there are going to have to be married guys who are getting no action. All right? And so they pay for this sort of faux girlfriend experience. Um, and, you know, it's one level, I guess, above just watching free internet adult material. Right? So... I would have to say, I reckon that's what it is. Guys in long-term relationships that are getting no action. Um, guys in marriages that are getting no action. This guy's an idiot. Why would you go and tell people about that? And she's more or less semi-identified him um, to people who may know of him. And this word will get around. So she's just about half doxed the guy, all right? Ah, good old, and she's a nice little Latina. She's a Sydney-based model, guys. She's a Sydney-based model. So there we go. Miss Cortez then did some detective work and confirmed it was him after seeing his account username and Instagram handle were the same. Moron. <laughs> he was talking to me and buying stuff from me, she reveals. Referencing the platform's feature to pay for bespoke content. Guys, it's just bespoke, just content. You know, it's not jamming stuff inside of yourself for guys to wank themselves off to or anything. But it turns out she didn't mind the attention and actually got a kick out of the fact that he followed her. I was flattered because I always thought this manager was cute. And it was a shame that he was married, she admits. He clearly thought I was cute too. As I said, guys, it only exists because of you. The cousin. Okay, this is interesting. Shana Beckman from the Gold Coast also discovered someone odd among her subscribers. Her cousin, what? Who had been secretly following her account and purchasing spicy videos from her. He'd been subscribed for over two months before she recognised his name among her fans and confronted him about it. What an idiot. Which was when he gave an unbelievable excuse. He tried telling me that it wasn't him and it was actually his friend who was married so couldn't use his own name or credit card, she explains. My cousin apparently kindly offered to share his name and credit card to allow this other guy to join my page. <laughs> so, you dirty little boys out there. Dirty little boys. Good old Shana here. Good old Shana. She says she felt sick to my stomach and too embarrassed to tell anyone about it. Oh, it's on the news now. 
I didn't want to cause any awkwardness between the families, she says, so I removed my cousin from my account and blocked his phone messages. I just don't get why he would subscribe in the first place and then use his real name. Like, he didn't want me to know it was him, and then what? Shana and her cousin, now in his 30s, were close as kids growing up, catching up with one another as adults at family get-togethers. Okay, don't want to cause any family issues. Uh, let's just put... Uh, more or less docks the guy again. You got your creepy cousin in his 30s who's followed you. Yeah, that's creepy, guys. Um, you don't want to cause any issues, right? You want to talk about it. Uh, now it's on the news for like millions of people to read on the front page of news.com.au website and wherever else these articles get distributed. The pilot. The former flight attendant, Anna Powell. For former flight attendant, Alana Powell. Her strange subscriber was a pilot she worked with. The days are so long. Sometimes 14 hours. And I'd woke up to 140 hours a month, earning only a $49,000 salary, she says. My fun colleagues would make jokes saying that I should make an account. Oh, okay, well, they said you should do it, so you probably should just go and do it then. You know, hey, let's just, you know, take no accountability ourselves. It's like when you get those girls on dating apps. Oh, I don't know why I'm here. My friends made the account for me. Bullshit. Good old Alana. Look at that. Dumpster fire right there. Boys, why are you paying for this? I don't know how much you got to pay, but why? Google, uh, Jizhut, Pornhub, um, uh, fake taxi. Get on fake taxi. Fake agent, whatever the guy's name is. He goes around and meets random chicks. Why are you paying for this shit? <laughs> don't get it. Okay, I thought it was worth trying, she says. When I finally did make one, one of the pilots I used to fly with started always rostering me on when I was flying. He made it pretty clear he was subscribed to me, and I didn't really mind. He'd message saying, it was great flying with you, and always spent a lot of money on me. The month that Miss Powell left her job, she made 60 grand, which was more than her yearly salary. <laughs> hey, whatever. Short-term gains, guys. Short-term gains. It's uh, not a long, um, it's not a long career for these ladies. The rabbi, U.S. content creator Amelia Lin, was surprised to find out she had conservative Jewish subscribers in her midst, with many rabbis following her and regularly engaging with her content. One of them did a FaceTime call, and I didn't realize he was Hasidic Jew. I was shocked when I answered the call and realized he was a full-on Orthodox with the side curls. Miss Lynn, who is Jewish herself, shares. She described these kinds of traditionalist followers as very nasty in chats. They try and say the most crazy things. Whatever they've seen in corn, they try it out with adult workers, Miss Lynn explains. So what are they trying to say here? I, guys, why are you paying for this? I, I, I just, As I said, I, I just can't wrap my mind around it. Like You've got it for free, better looking girls, whatever you want whatever midgets, whatever you want. You can just jump on the internet and get it for free. Why are you doing this? But it exists. Like chicks are substandard, average looking girls. It's not an insult. It's the truth. 60 grand a month. 60 grand a month. Like, it is mental. They're so kinky. Most of them have been quite degrading, to be honest. It's kind of gross to be treated like that by random people, like full force degrading. Then they'll message me on the holidays like Yom Kippur and say, have a great day on Hanukkah and wish me happy holidays. So what is the underlying message of this article? I can tell you exactly what it is. They're trying to normalize and say, hey, every guy is using it. Even normal, respectable guys, manager and accounting firm, a pilot, a Hasidic Jew. Well, I'm not going to speak for the cousin. That's weird. They're all normal, upstanding citizens in society, and they're using only cans. It's a normal job, guys. It's a normal job. Nothing to see here. Don't judge me. I read another article recently where um, I covered that nurse uh, in one of my previous articles. Uh, you can check it. Check out my playlist, Australian Media Coverage, if you want to see my article reviews. I covered the nurse who was 38, only cans creator, carrying on that she can't get a boyfriend. She came out with another article um, saying how she's been victimized um, objectified and um, bullied um, online for her choice of career. Can't believe it. You know, so she gets bullied because people have an opinion of what she's doing. It's not an opinion. It's it's not bullying. It's the truth of what is going on out there. You can try and hamster it all you want. You can have the media trying to hamster it and, and, and try and prop this up as much as you want. But at the end of the day, um, it's the oldest vocation in the book for a reason. It's been the most stigmified job for a reason. 
Uh, I don't think it's going to change. Guys, that's the end of the article. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you sticking out 10 minutes. Cheers.